you need to make a bootable copy of Windows by using this program called Rufus. Before this, you need to find the Windows ISO file. I will not cover that in this video. And once you have the ISO and a flash drive, you can go to the Rufus program and select the ISO file and then plug in your USB drive and then it will be detected automatically. And then it will guide you through and then it will make a bootable copy of Windows in that flash drive. Okay, once you are done, we are ready to power on the laptop and smash the setup buttons. If you are unsure, typically is either F2, F8, F10, F12 or delete button. So I typically just smash everything. And then things that you need to see, the boot priority, which means here, after you plug in your bootable USB drive, you need to set that the USB drive will be booted first. And then the second thing that you need to do according to Rufus instruction is the secure boot. Here we need to disable. In my case, it is already disabled. So the BIOS screen also, mind that, that really depends on your laptop manufacturer. So here we apply and then we exit the BIOS screen. And then it will detect your flash drive and it will boot up the Windows installation. Just a couple of setups. So here we are choosing the language and we are just just press next and then install now so now setup is starting presumably if you just bought a new ssd then everything will be empty but if it is not empty typically it's already formatted i would like it to clean up everything first by deleting all the drives one by one if you have multiple drives if you have only one then just delete that drive and then press new so for C drive, I would recommend to make it at least 100 gigabytes and then leave the extra storage as a separate drive. So you will have drive C in your laptop later on and you will have drive D, drive E and so on. So here you need to press apply after choosing the 100 gigabytes and then after that select the drive and then press next. Installation is finishing and then Windows is going to restart. So one more thing here before we proceed, at this point you don't need the USB drive anymore. So either you plug it out or you go back to the BIOS setup by smashing those buttons. Rearrange the boot priority to pull down the flash drive to the bottom. So basically Windows will boot up the hard drive first and then here you go. This is the Windows that we have installed in this laptop. It's getting ready and... Just follow the instructions on the screen.